is he go? So Wednesday, I'm feeling hype. I'm feeling good. And I'm also surprised and really amazed that this guy. And if you're not familiar who that is, that's Trippy Red. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm probably going to get content ID'd. But Trippy Red has sold over 100,000 um, units of his um, recent album that just came out, which is called, for the love of it, um, A Love Letter to You, Volume 4, on Number 4. Bloody hell, man. Amazing. And I'm happy for the kid because I think that exclamation mark album that came out earlier this year that Playboy Carti ended up having a track on and took it off again. I don't know what happened there. They probably have some dispute, but it didn't really um, get the reception it deserved. And I've long argued, even though he's a very, he's a proper terrible performer. If you watch these videos on, on um, Rolling Loud and stuff, for the amount of talent that Trippy Red has, he needs to invest a lot more time and a lot more money and effort into his live shows because i think if you put that effort into his live shows same as say about playboy cards i think in my opinion again argue as much as you want but in my humble opinion trippy red playboy Carti, Lil uzi vert are really on another level in concern of all those other kids and that kind of soundcloud kind of aesthetic of rapping right whatever you may call it whatever that theme is they're they're in a league of their own trippy red uzi vert and playboy Carti. but of the three, the one person I'd want to go see perform live specifically is probably Lil Uzi Vert. And Lil Uzi Vert still has does that thing that annoys me the most about hip hop artists where they always scream over a vocal backing track. There's no um there's no effort to try and sing their songs live, especially in a case maybe Lil Uzi Vert has more of an excuse because you know, if you break down some of his raps and go on genius, you can see he packs a lot of words into like into into his verses. So maybe he might run out of breath and you know, it's hard to kind of do the whole breath control when you're on stage running around, jumping around, jumping off the um the um, the scaffolding of a stage and stuff. But for the rest of them, such as Trippy Red, such as Playboy Carti, who, you know, for the most part it's a vibe, it's a melody. There's no excuse for them to be having the vocal back and track in the background and then just screaming on top of it. You should be able to perform live and just be able to kind of, you know, enunciate your words properly um, and just kind of get the crowd hype. Because I've, if you've seen the videos, you'll see that essentially Trippy Red and Playboy Carti act as their own little hype man, right? So they basically stand in front of the stage, jump around and just scream, you know, especially in, in, in um, Trippy Red's case, you know, 10, 14, whatever it may be, and that's it. But I, honestly, after listening to this album, if he invests a little bit of time, especially some of the acoustic, um, acoustic sounding tracks in the first half of this album, that's nothing to specify too. You know how hard this album is? Because there's 21 tracks and I wouldn't take any track away. They're all fucking bangers. And the thing that's amazing about this album, um, A Love Letter For You, which is on here on the screen, I recommend you go check it out. It's available now on iTunes and all your streaming platforms. Um, the incredible thing is that the first half of the album is pretty slow. It's pretty melodic. Um, it's pretty somber a lot of heartbreak and turmoil in there and then it just flips the script the second half of the album just starts punching you in the face again and again and again that track that i played recently now with um this production of this track this little yatty and pierre, pierre born like this is prime uh, uh, pierre born prime prime um era pierre born so definitely check it out um, one of my favorite albums that's come out of the last few weeks. I've been playing it again and again since I've been going gym. This alongside the game album is just, you know, my hands down easily. Some of the best albums I've dropped in the last few months. Again, tri uh, check out Trippy Red. Um, if anyone from your team is listening, please invest in some kind of um, perf oh, what you call it? live performance training, choreography. Allow him, maybe even the first half of the tracks. If he just did an acoustic version of those tracks in the beginning of his concerts or something, or a little intermission and perform some of the tracks, especially... Uh, Lee Ray, the one that's you know been causing most of the controversy, that would be amazing. Please, let's see that. And just in general, man, just perform live without a backing track. That's where the Migos really up their levels. The Migos, obviously, Bad and Bougie, you know, took them to a whole different direction, a whole different audience was exposed to the Migos. But I think another part of it as well, if you check out the actual live performances, the Migos perform live. They actually rap on stage. They're not just mumbling. They're not just shouting over an MP3. They're actually rapping live over instrumental. I would love to see Trippy Red, Lil, um, Playboy Carti especially do the same thing. And that would definitely take them to the next level. Hopefully that happens. Um, and again, it will make your it will make you spending the money to go see these guys much more worth it. Because at the moment, when you go and see them play, it's like... <sighs> do you know what I mean? Like, I, I really wish that happens. Hopefully it happens. Hopefully it does happen very, very